guys just a quick video here uh, to show the folder structure and quick setup quick fix for people having issues getting the community online tools mod working for Daisy okay so let's get started so first of all um, once you've installed your Daisy client and your server um, you don't have to do this but I highly recommend copying your server folder to your desktop or somewhere different unless obviously you're uh, paying for hosting then you don't have to worry about this step but if you go into your steam steam apps common on your daisy server and just right click and drag and copy I'm not going to because I've already got one uh, right here um, the only reason I suggest that is because uh, when 1.0 came out my server updated but the client update did not come through for a couple of hours afterwards so <laughs> I couldn't play on my own server anyway uh, moving on if we go back to our client folder Daisy okay in here uh, you've got a workshop folder after you subscribe to the mods this is where they will be okay so there's all three of these just click shift click to select all don't get that top one obviously just the ones that start with the at symbol so you want community online tools permissions framework RPC framework copy all of these straight into your server folder which obviously I'm not going to do again because I've already got them there um, some people have been having issues with their mods getting corrupted or being empty make sure there's an add-ons folder a keys folder and a meta.cpp file in each one of the mod folders and that some have a license file as well but these three are the important ones make sure they're in there if it's missing any of them then your mod is corrupted and to fix that I'm going to Go to my Steam library. You can't see this because it's on my other monitor, but I'm right clicking on Daisy. I'm just going to drag it over. Okay. Right click. Run Daisy Launcher. And with this, you're going to go to the Mods tab. And if this is your first time running it, you'll, your mods will be listed under here where it says Available. You need to tick the boxes. Once you've ticked the boxes up here on the preset, click the down arrow and save as to give it a name. And then that'll save like a preset. So if you have multiple presets, different mods you want to run, then what you need to do, or what you can do to switch between them easily, is uh, they'll be listed here. So here's my admin one. All right, you can just click on it and it'll tick all the ones that have been saved to that preset. Now what you want to do is click play uh, from the launcher. If you don't play from the launcher, as far as I'm aware, uh, the mods will not be activated. You need to run the launcher first, um, otherwise it won't run. And just a very quick edit to the video, I almost forgot. Um, if your mods are corrupted, you come into the launcher and click the down arrows here on each mod and you can uh, you can delete or you can I think you yeah click the three dots here and repair and if the mod is if it's detected as corrupted it'll fix it okay okay so uh, before we actually run that uh, let's see open a window um, so in my bat file This is my bat file. So we have start daisy server 64.exe and then all of these are called parameters. Okay, all these ones that start with the uh, the little minus or dash, whatever you want to call it, they're parameters. And here we have the profiles one. I've just got mine saving to the C drive in a folder called daisy server. It's probably confusing. I probably should have called it 
daisy server config like I told someone else to do but regardless they're your parameters none of this needs to be in quotes only this section here where you list your mods that needs to be in quotes okay um, I think the order in which you list these does matter so RPC framework then permissions framework then the community online tools this last parameter I believe it's not needed anymore but I'll need to confirm that later um, said in the last patch notes for Daisy that they removed that so I don't know if that's actually even doing anything I've left it there for now but whatever okay so that's done um, check the mod page for community online tools I've started a discussion there and I've copy pasted my bat file information there for you okay so that's the server folder done um, not going to go into the config or anything like that there's plenty of other videos on YouTube and show, to show you how to do that alright so now we're going to go C drive uh, let's see do, 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 do. daisy server okay now these two folders for a lot of people they won't be there before 1.0 the mod created these folders automatically but for some reason since the update uh, something broke and it won't create the folders for a lot of people so create them um, the again the discussion that I created on the mod page on Steam has the exact spelling I'm pretty sure the spelling does matter well at least the folder structure will matter um, the spelling could matter as well pretty sure there'll be a script somewhere that requires exact spelling okay inside community online tools you need two more folders that's these two game module underscore base building and then vehicles and that's it for that one and then in permissions framework you create a players folder uppercase P and that's it okay so I've already got my server running so I'm just gonna join okay so now we're in um, you can hit Y it'll bring up this list I've got player management that's that um, you can spawn objects teleport list is empty uh, waiting for the mod author to update hopefully so we can get a, a list again because that used to have a list of towns you could just teleport straight to towns which was great uh, camera tools I haven't played with gameplay and world you can spawn uh, fully repaired and fueled hatchback wherever you're looking at I haven't played around with these other things yet spawning can be a bit tricky because it usually puts stuff at your feet <clears throat> you can uh, change these settings so um, think of these bars as like a progress bar so if I click over here you'll see it goes 2% 0% fog So if I click here, it's going to be about 20-ish percent, 18, there you go. Uh, same with the time. <clears throat> so if I click somewhere over here, uh, at the left end or the right end, it's going to be close either just before or just after midnight. And in the middle is around midday. So let's change that to about there. Whoop, not, not there. There we go. 7 in the morning sorry people that are on the server <laughs> okay <clears throat> and that's that <clears throat> so um just a quick note also I don't know if anyone else gets this but every time I exit the game when I'm running these mods I get this crash sometimes it happens when I log out the server sometimes it happens when I exit the game either way I get this uh, weird crash status heap corruption so something's getting corrupted somewhere in memory by the look of it if the uh, mod author sees this video there you go something for you to fix buddy cheers love your work 
All right, moving on. So we can get out of that, close that. So now if we go into our C drive, right, config folder, um, after you have set up the folders correctly and your batch file correctly, um, then inside the permissions framework players, you'll see if you're the first person to join the server, there will just be one file in here. Okay, now obviously it does some sort of hash, salt and hash maybe, um, to create this long string, right? Then each one of these files represents a different player that's uh, been on the server. So what you need to do is, I don't know whose this is, it's not mine, but use something like Notepad++. Uh, don't use normal Notepad or WordPad or anything like that. It's silly. Get Notepad++. It's free. It's small. It's so useful, especially if you're going to be running other game servers. It's always a must for editing any sort of config. Anyway, once you get it all working and you find your file, right-click, edit with Notepad++, and then highlight one of these zeros. Control F go to the replace tab replace with the number two and click replace all I'm not going to do it because I don't know who this is and I don't want to give them admin permissions on my server but that's what you do and then you hit save um, just to note make sure your server is shut down when you do that or it won't save properly or it probably won't save properly so once you get it working and you see that file then you can shut down your server come and edit the file change every zero to a two using control F to replace all um, and that's it and once you've done that run your server make sure you um, run daisy from the launcher otherwise the mods won't activate because even if you've got everything set up correctly if you don't run through the launcher with the mods activated the mods aren't going to be there they're not going to be running when you're playing the game so pushing Y is not going to do anything for you okay and that's it guys hope that helped uh, check out my discussion on the community online tools mod page on Steam you can message me there if you need extra help uh, I have discord available that I've been letting people jump on so I can help them out and yeah that's it thanks and stay safe out there